I command the Chapines! Me! That's who! See, Vaughn. It is not your fault. It means nothing. Blank it out. Ah, oh, blame the credit bubble. She will be fine. There you are. There you are. Tony! Tony, wasn't it? Here I am. You talked that bastard! Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, you earned it. Room 9. She's right up there. Go for it, man. She, she's... she's... <laughs> well, you just knock yourself out. Okay? Hey, Whew. hope you had a good time up there, Tony. <laughs> listen, listen, I don't know if you feel up for it or anything, but uh, maybe you could go give Lenny a wake-up call. This is what he looks like, right here, okay? Now, I think you can find him. He'll be doing some showings over at Rockford Hills today. I'll give him more than a wake-up call. That's it. That's it. I love you. I love you. I love you, man. I love you. Please, do something about Avery. Th that bastard has ruined me. So, are you gonna go give Lenny that wake-up call, or not? What a great day this is turning into all of a sudden. If it isn't my favorite real estate broker. Tony, buddy, are, are you in Rockford Hills yet? Almost. Good, I, I, I forgot to tell you. Avery drives a green comet. Ah, don't worry, I'll find him. And after I scare the living shit out of this guy, I get some more, uh, bouncy, right? Oh, oh yeah, of course. But, but uh, Tony, Tony, listen, I, I kind of told him that you were coming. So much for the element of surprise. I want him to know who's behind the pain that he's about to experience. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Don't let me down, bud. email 
last week, right? Three words. Fa-you-lus. Facelift! Come here a second. What did you call me? Have you seen an old guy with a green comet? Lenny Avery. Lenny? I love Lenny. He got me a deal in a nine-bed Tudor Tuscan last year. I saw him showing the house just up the street on the left. Say hi from Rosalind. Oh, I will. from Josh Bernstein. Oh, God, just leave me alone! this any worse than it already is. Oh, God, this can't be happening. What do you want? Did I sell you a property in the North Chumash development? I couldn't have predicted those mudslides. No one could have. My lawyer told me I'm not liable. I can give you his number. I've got integrity, man. Most of the time. Stay away from Josh's business, or next time I won't be so gentle. Okay, okay, I got it. Just calm down. Nobody needs to get shot. It's not supposed to intimidate me.
Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job, and then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me, all right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! You know where I'm going. Fuck you. You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on. We'll order pizza. Fuck you. Oh. Fuck your pizza. Fuck everything it stands for. This is insanity. Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. Oh, I'm not going to listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Ooh, lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. Trevor? It's great to, uh... They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess... I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking... Fucking play circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Trevor. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there. <sighs> this is it. Moment of truth. Oh. Oh. 
As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin. Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. John Phillips! Mr. Chow has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Who are your friends, T? Stop the man! Go find us! We're going to him! You confused pieces of shit! Where the weather's better. What am I the idiot starting here? They're all dead. Phillips went that away. He's getting away! How many guys you send up here? Yo, 
Oh shit! This is it for real! One You're way off, assholes! Boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. This LD. If you a dude, hang up my line right now. If you's a bitch, leave a message.
Patricia. Mrs. Madrazo. Trevor. Oh, I miss you. All you boys. I miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, yeah, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Why hasn't someone sensible shot you me? yet? Shit. I'm gonna beat you senseless, resuscitate you, and beat you again. Uh, Dickhead. Fucking fuck. I think I might need this more. Uh, get off! Mark Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip.
gangsters move. He waiting at the garage. The boost, homie. How did it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Yo, my boy, I need to holler at you. Hey, hey! Be careful. Line it up on the truck. Yes, he is, homie. We straight. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. And this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scoot you up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stink. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired hey, from, from creeping? Hi. From everything. That's funny, cause like the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh, shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for 10 years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule, maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. 
He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. Calm the fuck down, you animal! It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rods. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. You know, part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I've ever heard. Oh, Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedoms. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. And so is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You're such a delicate little bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right. Fuck. I was running a small air freight outfit in North Yankton. Tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway, and I see this dust coming up off the road. Only, it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. It's my age, just 20, kind of fat but strong underneath. Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms and pointing at the kid. The dude that got Jack? Who fucking knows? Fat guy's running, old guy's shouting. I don't really care. I play peacemaker. Concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy and I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. Thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. Plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. You ain't never clapped nobody before? Not really. Some deer, foxes, drifters, nothing serious. Ha, huh. so that was like it? You and Michael rolling on through? Mas o menos. Michael didn't have the nerve back then. I didn't have the direction. Kind of work. Until Michael got his nerve. Until he got it, and he lost it. But that's another story. So, tell me, man, what, what about you and Frank? Oh, hell no, nah, homie, it ain't like that. We ain't like y'all, you know, niggas don't get down like that. 
I mean, one time we was both fucking this bitch and I was about to go in and we kind of like touched dicks, but it wasn't even like a slap or nothing. I mean, man, it was like almost like a brush, you know? I mean, that shit, it, it, it wasn't nothing, homie. It, it, it wasn't even like awkward or nothing. But j j don't tell nobody. That's how you met Franklin. Brushing cocks in an orgy. It wasn't no orgy. Fuck, man, that was a three-way. And nah, we ain't meet there. Nah, wait, wait, that wasn't Frank. That was JB in a three-way. Frank ain't into that. And he smoked crack now. JB, I mean, not Frank. So there you go. Actually, man, you know what? I don't care where you and JB met, or you and Franklin. It was at school, motherfucker. Dave was hot. Me and Frank was always tight. Lanky and fatty. We was slanging together, then we was banging together, then we back to slanging. That's a young man game, you heard me? Yeah, I heard you. But I don't really care. Never enough for him, man. Didn't want to be a soldier, wanted to be the general. Didn't want to be a slanger, wanted to be the CEO. Running franchises and shit. Who franchising in the drug game? Trevor Phillips Industries is who. Who they? They got t-shirts? It don't matter. All right. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. What you gonna do, old fearless leader? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JV 700 to get rid of it. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, take this headset. the cops right to us, dawg. Maybe you should have done the boost, Mr. C. Get on the shit. Stop right now. Hey, Man, you better deal with the police. <laughs> It's Franklin. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. Procopio it is! Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that 
that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dog. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dog? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Lester Crest! I'm amazed you're still with us. Just barely. Look, Franklin needs to see you. He had some trouble securing payment on that last deal. He needs to find Michael. Oh, look, I don't know nothing about that, but if he had trouble getting payment, that's my problem, too. I mean, I took half those cars. Fine, whatever. Just tell him you don't know where Michael is, but do it in person. He'll be at his old place on Forum. <laughs> 